Hey coach, welcome back to our channel. So if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe because every single day we are putting content out which is designed to help you to either start, grow or scale your business to the next level. Now, if at the end of this video, you want to get in contact with me to maybe ask me questions, then there's two ways you can do that. Number one, you can set up a free 15 to 20 minute call with me. If you visit the calendar on my the description of this video, you can set up a free 15 to 20 minute call. Or if you want to send me a direct email, then you can do that as well to my email at makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com, right? So those are the two ways to get in contact with me. If you want any of your questions answered, and you currently have a have a training business. Right, so today I wanna to share with you five ways that you can add more value to your, your football slash soccer coaching business. Right, so a question I get asked on a regular basis is, Leo, how can I add more value to my coaching service so that I can up the the value of my program and also i can charge more for for my services right so i want to share with you five things that i've worked with coaches on and five things that coaches are currently implementing that we are currently working with right so what i want to do is i want to go through them one by one this might be a bit of a, a longer video but I'm sure it's going to add a lot of value to you. And what I would recommend is make sure you get a pen and paper, make lots of notes. And also once you've finished, right, go back and review this video because I know it's really, really going to help you. So in order to charge more for your, your training service, right, you need to add more value away from just your one-to-one -one or your small small group training session, right? So on the screen in front of me, I have five things that I implemented in my business when, when I started my football academy, but also these are five things that over the course of time, we have helped coaches that we work with uh, implement into their business, which they've been able to, to double and triple their income, and also charge more for their services per client, right? So ultimately, what you want to do is you want to charge more per client. But in order to do that, you need to up the value of your program, right? So the first one in front of me is review player goals on a monthly or quarterly basis. So a big mistake a lot of coaches do is they don't review or they don't set goals with their clients, right? Something we encourage coaches in our program is that every child that the coach works with, they have to provide a notebook like the one I have here, like a notebook like this with a pen, and every client has to bring the notebook and pen to each training session. Now, the reason why that adds more value and the reason why it's going to help you in this, this, this first bit is because once you get to the end of the session, you will be able to review what you did together during that training session. So that way your client can look back and say, right, okay, I worked last week, we did this, the week before we did that. But also it helps because you can then, the child or your your the, the player you're working with can then show the parent what they have been working on during the training session with you, right? But also, at your first training session that you have with this client, in the notebook, you two can sit down and set at least two or three uh, yearly or quarterly goals. And what you can do is week by week, you can go back and review them, right? go back and review them to see whether that player has been reaching the goals that you guys set on the first uh, training session, right? So if you're working with a client for, for three months, first training session, you set two or three goals together. 
And then what you do is week by week, you design your training sessions based on the goals of that, that, that client. And also you can start to review, right, have we reached goal number one? Have we reached goal number two? And if you have, then you can go back, review them and either change them or focus on one of them until your client has received, has, has received and achieved them, right? Because once your client achieves them, then ultimately you're getting results with that client, which ultimately that's what parents want, right? They want results with their children. And when you add value, when you achieve results, okay, you can up the price and charge more per client. So the second one is a 10 player games in person to give feedback once per month or once per season. Right, so this is a common one we work with, especially with one-to-one -one, uh, trainers, that once a month, you're going out to, to the fields, to the pitch, to go and watch your clients play in their matches. Okay, Now, this is really valuable because when once you see your client in an actual competitive game situation, like the goals you guys set together, right, it, it, it can change, okay? Because one thing seeing your client on a week-to-week -week basis, just it, you and them in a training session, the other thing is actually seeing them, how they, how they react and how they respond in a game uh, environment, right? Where they're under pressure, where they have parents screaming from the sideline, where it, it might be a physical game, Right. So what you want to do is you want to attend at least once per month or once per season. Right. Some coaches that we work with who who specialize more in one to one, one on one training because they're working with 20 to 30 clients on a on a weekly basis. It, it becomes very hard to go and watch uh, their clients once per month. So what they can do as part of the program and how to add more value is they can they can go and watch the client play once per season. And when you go and watch your, your clients play once per season, right? ultimately you can see them in a game situation, you can provide feedback, and you can have either a Zoom call or an in-person uh, meeting with the player and the parent to discuss uh, the feedback that you've provided for them with regards to their performance during that game. Okay, so that's a, that's another way to add a lot of value because parents can get an e a good insight into your thoughts on how their child performs. Okay, the third one is have the client fill out their own game evals during the season so that you can better understand their development during the year. So this is a really simple one that you can do. And some of the clients that we are working with have their, their players fill out weekly game evaluations. So something you can do is on Google, you can set up a Google a form and you send that link of that Google form to your clients. And what they do is every week after their game, they fill out that form. And what you do is on the Monday morning, you log in, and you can see what your clients have said about how they performed. Now, something to keep your clients more engaged is you can change, you can have about five to seven questions specific to their performance, how they felt they played, uh, what was their, their rating, one to five, uh, what, they, what could they improve on in the next week, how was their mindset, how did they feel physically? Did they prepare well for the game? Right. So there's a number of questions you can ask them. And every month we can go back and we just customize the questions so they're not always the same. OK, because sometimes when you answer the same questions every week, then it just gets repetitive. And sometimes kids lose their motivation to do it. But if we every month we're changing the questions to make it maybe a little bit more challenging and, and thoughtful for the player, then there's more chance of them filling it out, filling it out uh, every single week. And that way you have the data of them 
and you don't have to physically go and watch them every single week. You can have them fill out their game evaluations each week and you grab the data and then on that date with that data you can then design your next training session so the fourth one is speak with their club coach during the year to better understand what they want their clients to do better okay so something that i see a lot in this industry is the lack of connection between club coach and private trainer Right. Sometimes club coaches see private trainers as a threat. Okay. But in reality, what you want to do is if you want to get great results with your clients, then you need to be communicating and making an effort to communicate with their, their team coach. Now, also, the reason why this adds a lot of value is because sometimes parents want to talk to their team coach but they might be afraid to talk to them right so they might be scared to talk to them or ask them questions they don't know how to approach them and you as the the trainer as the specialist right you kind of take that role in the sense that you communicate with that coach on how they put the player is doing during game situations because what ultimately we want to do is we don't want your client to be training one way with their team and then they come to you and you're training them a different way and then their performances change depending on their environment why we want to try and keep everything streamlined so that the training they do with you can then be transferred into a game situation with their teams. So that's why I believe, and I'm a massive uh, advocate for it, is that we need to have good communication with their team coach, right? We need to be speaking with a coach, see how they're doing, how they played, how they performed, and what they want me as the trainer to be working on. That way also you can get more data, more information, Okay. And you can design your training special, specific towards the needs of your client. Now, the fifth one is give the player more access to you during the week. They can ask you questions to tell you more about what is going on. So what you can do, and something we help coaches with this, is building a communication a platform or channel that the coach and the client can have constant communication between one another. So a very simple uh, one, right? If you go onto Google and you type in Slack, right? Slack is a communication platform where you can set up uh, a group chat between the player and yourself, and you can ask that player questions throughout the week. So if you know that your client has team training on a Tuesday evening, right, you can message them and say, how did your team training session go? Right. And then they can respond to you, say it went well. Uh, I work, we worked on this. We worked on this. I feel that I need to, to maybe improve on this. Okay. And during the week, you're constantly in communication with them. So that way it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel like a one-off thing. Right, doesn't feel that you, the parent is just dropping off their kids. You, you're training with them, you're doing some drills, and they're going home. Right, we want it to feel like an actual complete experience, and you are adding a lot more value away from your training session. Okay, so one platform really simple to use is Slack. Okay, you can set up a group between the parent, the child, and yourself. Right, and you can send the message messages during the week where the child can can respond to your questions. Right. So simple question might be if you know they train on the Wednesday, then tell me three things you did well during that training session. And they can respond with the three things. Right. And then when you get to the weekend and you do your, your one-to-one session, then you as a coach have they have enough data to figure out, all right. 
because they said to me, right, they need work on their first touch. They felt that they weren't confident enough in one, 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 one V one situations. You can maybe design a session plan around what that player needs more work on. Okay. So hopefully these five things have helped you. And if you want to get in contact with me to discuss any of these five, right, I am available during the week, Monday to Friday for a free 15 to 20 minute call. Like I said at the beginning of the video, there's two ways you can do that. The first way is if you visit the calendar in the description of this, this video, you can set up a free 15 to 20 minute call with me where we can jump on Zoom. I can ask you questions and we can go through any ideas or, or plans that you have for your business and I can point you in the right direction. Or if you just simply want to send me an email, send me a message, you can do that as well. I check my emails every day for coaches. So send me an email to makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com. I respond to every coach that, that reaches out to me uh, Monday to Friday. All right. So thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.